everybody. Welcome to Pro World Live. I'm Danielle from Pro World. I'm Diana from Home. It's me behind the camera. <laughs> All right. And as always, chime in. Let us know where you are tuning in from. We love to hear from you, whether you're from Facebook or YouTube. Let us know where you're viewing us live. And we are going to get started. Yes, you have a question already? <laughs> and Merry Christmas. <laughs> well, Daddy. So last week we sublimated on our Christmas stockings and uh, this week we're going to show you how to either embellish those stockings with rhinestones or make your own t-shirts with our uh, standard rhinestone transfers that we already have on our website. Um, but as I was saying, uh, let us know where you're tuning in from and uh, my cameraman will give you some shout outs and then we'll get started with our project for today. Okay, we got Jacksonville is in the house. I feel like that's always the first one you say. Maryland <laughs> is here. Jersey is here. Lawton, Oklahoma, New York City, New York City, <laughs> Bellevue, Nebraska. Oh, from New York City. Oh, everyone. Hey, we are here today. All right. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, many of you may or may not know, um, but our rhinestone transfers that we sell on our website, we have over 200 designs, and they are already pre-made for you. Wait, they come are 200 on this table? There are not 200 on this table. Okay. <laughs> They're already okay. pre-made for you. They come um, on an adhesive carrier sheet. All the stones are stuck to it. And then you have the backing sheet, which kind of keeps everything all in place. Uh, so you can kind of pick and choose the stock transfers that we already offer, and then we would send it to you just like that. Just uh, like that? Just like that. Just, just like, like that. that. All right. Oh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to print them, and we're going to use, uh, we'll do this design first. This is just a, a standard snowflake design that we have on the website. We have holiday, and we also have, this one says volleyball grandma. Uh, we have right to be transfers so a real variety even a skull design if if that's what you're going for <laughs> logo vol love love oh. l o wow. is this two designs on the sheet <laughs> oh okay well while that's you're where, struggling that's where i tripped her up the two designs on the sheet <laughs> you're struggling we still got some shout outs going right, we go got ahead. Brooklyn, New York is in the house. Big D for Dallas is in the house. North Carolina, South California. Daddy. Hubbard, Ohio. Raleigh, North Carolina. Home of the barbecues. Is it though? Oh, yeah. I, or do you just make stuff up as you go along, or oh, no. is this like real? This is actual factual. Why, oh, okay. Why does he sound like DJ Khaled? <laughs> Another <laughs> one. Another one. <laughs> All right. So, Getting back to our project, <laughs> thank you for everyone uh, tuning in. So what I did in the meantime was I pre-pressed my, we're just working with a, a little Helen sheet here. So I pre-pressed my Helen, and I'm going to go ahead and take off the carrier sheet from the backing sheet. So this is the part that you're gonna work with, the part that has all <laughs> the rhinestones on it. Awesome. And we're going to go ahead and place that right on our material. Yes. Is that exactly what it's going on? Yes, that's what it's going on. What for? Uh, I, it's because you don't need to always use a t-shirt. Oh. <laughs> but uh, so uh, if many if, if people have stores, they print it on here and then they hang it up on their store wall so that way people can pick and choose the design that they want. I was going to say you can make a Christmas dog mat. Oh, okay. So we're at 327 degrees. Sorry. We are about 13 seconds. And this is about medium to heavy pressure. This is going to be a cold peel, so I'm going to just let it sit for a little bit before I take off that carrier sheet. And we can just pull it over here. And rip it off. Well, rip it off. It's cold peel. Someone was not listening. Mm -mm. Cold peel, you let it sit and you wait. No, this is hot peel because it's really hot. And no, it is currently <laughs> hot. We have to let it wait. <laughs> You got to let it wait. All right. We got West Virginia's coming in. Georgia. Summerdale, New Jersey. Hello, hello, and hello. Hey there. Yeah, she did not believe me. I know. It's fine. What? Ireland is checking hello, in. Hello, hello, hello. 
There's the cold pill. There we go. Is it supposed to get more fuzzy? Like you know, it got more fuzzy because of the material that it's on. But when it's on your shirt, it just goes flat, just like this one. If you want to hold up that stocking for me, it just got fuzzy around here just because the material was pulling up with the adhesive. But on a regular shirt, it won't do that. Are you trying to take over my spot? Yes, I am. <laughs> then he's not putting it on mine. I got both of these. <laughs> but see, it's it's super easy. And I, I personally like to embellish with rhinestones. Not necessarily have the full design in rhinestones. Um, but as you can see, for our stockings, we took a we took a transfer that was this one and we cut up this sheet and put that one here and then we you know got another stocking and we were able to do this one so we got you know two of these sheets and we were able to do four stockings with it and then we had an extra center one um which i'll figure out something to do with <laughs> and now this one sometimes it's always where this Where'd the tree go? You have it under here. So this is the transfer for the tree. And again, it really, I could have left it like this for the bottom part of the stocking, but instead I just cut the little trees off and placed them where I wanted. So it, you're really kind of versatile in that aspect for the rhinestones. Cause once you get this on the sticky sheet, you know, you can cut the sticky sheet and then place it wherever you'd like. So really kind of think, Think about your design and think about how you want it placed. It doesn't necessarily have to stay the way that you're seeing it on the sheet. You have a lot more options for rhinestones than you do for a regular screen printed transfers. So you're saying you can cut it and make your own design. You can absolutely. Is that your and question or someone else's? This my, is, oh we also sell this, don't, don't worry about this part of it, um, but <laughs> it's a full random rhinestone sheet. So. If you have your design and you kind of just want rhinestones scatter all over it, this is a the greatest sheet to get. Um, it's also really good in case you have some rhinestones that have fallen off your design that happen to be clear. You can kind of just pop one of them off and place them on in its place. So these are great to have and to hang on to. I yes. have two things to say. Two okay. things. So does this come in a different color? We have. Uh, rhinestone, rhine stud, and sequins, maybe. Now I don't remember if we have a sequin sheet. Um, but they stay clear. There's clear, and then the rhine studs have silver. So okay. would I be considered a rhine stud? <laughs> or rhine stone. Hey, now. And I, if you want to zoom in here, I can kind of show you can I say my other thing now? the difference. So this is a rhine stud design in a second. Okay. Ooh. And this is a rhinestone design. So I don't know. Can you Let's see that difference there? Bit. I have a rhinestone design on one of my pants. Okay. Rhinestone's got off. some shimmer. So rhinestones definitely sparkle. Mm -hmm. And they have that, you know, sort of CZ look that the rhinestones are going for. And rhine studs are more of a metal stud. So can I say a difference about them? Go ahead. So um, the rhinestone. Stone, you don't feel much, but the rhine stud, you can feel it because it's kind of like 3D. Well, you definitely feel both of them. Not much of that. One. You can't feel that. You can feel it. It sticks <laughs> off the shirt. Okay. It, you can feel it. <laughs> they just look different. So they rhinestones sparkle and studs are are metal. Shimmer. So they don't shimmer. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's trying to throw in words for me. <laughs> Just listen to me. Forget the other two. What <laughs> about Shimmer and Shine? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. All right. We do have a question. Go ahead. Uh, Douglas asks, can that go on any material? Yeah, rhinestones are really versatile. So they can go 100% cotton, 50-50 blends, or polyesters. This is, hold on to your questions. Okay. This is um, kind of a, a fuzzy suede, I guess. Um, this is a linen. So yes, it, they can absolutely go on a lot of different fabrics. Uh, a lot of customers make custom rhinestone designs through our company for their leotards or their spandex for the gymnastics. So rhinestones are definitely, um, a material that can go on other fabrics. 
the rhinestones all have a glue dot on the back of them. So that glue dot can really adhere to all those other materials. And these are on the site, correct? Yes, these absolutely are. They're under our very first tab under heat transfers. They have their own section called in the categories of rhinestones. Uh, so you can definitely find them all there. Okay. Also, Rick asks, um, do you have basketball designs? We do. Um, when you go into the category under the rhinestones, you can kind of sort on the left-hand side by other, other products. Uh, you can also type in basketball, and then you'll be able to see those options as well. Good. But we do have we do have all, all different sports. Um, they come either single or I, I believe we have a basketball grandma. Um, we have a love basketball design. So yeah, we we do have quite a few of the sports in the rhinestones. Yes. Um. She lost her question. Oh, okay. <laughs> she found her um, question. So would you be? So this is a very, 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 very good question. Okay. Are you able to overlap rhinestones? So once you print, so if we were to print this design and then take this design on and put it on top, or, or that like, design. Like if we were to do the rhinestones and then put this over top so it's like it's snowing on the snowman. You could definitely do that. You would just place the random, she's asking about the random rhinestone sheet. You would just cut and place these random rhinestones out wherever you'd like them. Okay. So on the random rhinestone sheet, this is my own question, sorry. You have to <laughs> cut individually? You don't necessarily. So if we were gonna do, let me see if I have something I can add rhinestones to. Um, yeah, go ahead. Use my. Uh, go ahead and use my my. Uh, you have enough, stopper. Daddy. <laughs> All right. Well, while you're doing that, we do have a couple questions. Um, yeah, we'll do it on this Mary and Bright mask. The Virgil eggs. How do they hold up in the wash? Perfect. You will be just fine in the wash with them. And are there different colors from Carly? For the random rhinestone sheets, no, but for our stock transfers, they, they come in all different colors. Can you go get me um, a pillow yeah. in the back, please? Ow. Thank you. Oh, okay. So I'm going to put the random rhinestone just right on top of this one so you can kind of see um, how it works. But I do need a pillow because it's a mask, so I need a smooth, even surface. All right. While you're doing that, there are some shout-outs that I missed. <laughs> Uh, where are we at? Uh, Kansas City, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, uh, Stockdale, Texas, Bordentown, New Jersey, Thank you. Philadelphia is in the house. And if you need to adjust your pressure, because we do have to accommodate for the pillow, I'm using the TransPro here, so I'm gonna kind of hold it down halfway and then I'll be able to lock it in place when I. Get it to where I want it. Oh, thank you, Larry. Appreciate that comment. <clears throat> oh, that would look cute. <laughs> I'm okay. Add a in I bucket. should be good with that. Let me just lessen it just a little bit more if I can. Perfect. Okay. So I did cut out some of this. And I'm going to just plop it on and see. Make sure I'm sort of where I need it to be. Two little rhinestones, a couple little rhinestones didn't make it on the mask. So let me just trim those off. <coughs> that mask too. You want this mask? I want all the masks you put rhinestones on. <laughs> all right, these didn't make it. Okay. Mm. No. You now don't it kind of looks like you now it kind of looks like snow a little bit. So we just livened up that mask. Then that one should have been snow day all day. Snow day all day, yeah. Snow day all day. Okay, and I am going to cover with my nonstick sheet just because I got a couple things going on on this one. Okay, close and lock. So three twenty-seven, uh, thirteen seconds, and it is it's a cold peel still. So we'll wait uh, to peel it. Question. Yes. Do you have a cookie rhinestone design? A cookie? I mean, his no. outfit says, Dear Santa, I ate your cookies. So it would be fun <laughs> to have cookies. That one I don't think I have. 
Okay. I'm just looking right. at the one. I'm going to wait. I always want to peel it. Mm -hmm. A uh, question okay. comes in from Alan. He says, what are the minimum of rhinestone transfers that I can order? So we um, Of their design. Of your own design <clears throat> for a custom rhinestone transfer, there's a 25 piece minimum. Um, and then we have, it's about two to three weeks for production time. So it is a little bit lengthy on, on production in order to get them. Um, but you absolutely can submit your own design through them. And there you go. Ooh. I love it. I think that so, is, oh, and it just went down. Oh, she wanted to put it on. <laughs> oh. So nice. you take like a standard mask and add some bling. And now you can sell this mask for a lot more than you could have if it was without the rhinestones. You can sell it for $300,000. Not quite. Uh, first off, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But it does make it decorative. <clears throat> Thank you. Now I got some ideas rolling around in my head. I think I want to. There we go. So if you want to zoom in on that. Get a little bedazzled here. Can we uh can we dazzle Uno's outfit? No, we I I don't want Uno to eat it. He, Very nice. Our he dog won't. tends to chew on it. things. People might think he's tiny just because. Okay. Any other questions? Um waiting, waiting. Uh, <laughs> so we said little pause. There's a couple Would you coming be able in. To do it on leashes? No. Oh. No. Uh, no questions coming in yet, but Christina from San Pablo, California is checking in. Hello. Thank Hello. You, thank Hello. you for, for joining us today. And we'll hold up the other the designs that we've already Hello. made here. This one, this one, and this one. Well, this one we didn't make today. Um, but if you are going to go with the stockings, those pressing pillows are really needed for any uneven surface. So just like we did it for the mask, <laughs> make sure you do that as well for the stockings. What you laughing at? Uh, Rick says, if I could sell the mask for 300 K, <laughs> I'll take a container of two, please. Yes, <laughs> Correct. I am right along with you. See, I told you that was a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, ideas are great. Yes. <laughs> ideas for me are horrible. <laughs> Horrifying, actually. All right. Well, there's uh, no other questions. <gasps> what are the sizes? What are the type sizes uh, that they come in? So rhinestone transfers typically do um, come on the smaller side. So when you look on our website, under each transfer, it will list the size for you. So I would say that they're probably around that six inch, seven inch size and smaller. This is one of our popular designs, the Santa's Little Helper. So that design, you can see, it is, you know, I would say, gosh, maybe six, seven inches. Um, they are on the smaller side, but usually when you're doing something decorative and very blingy and flashy, it doesn't need to be overly large. So placing it on a standard shirt, you know, usually you would do it a little dressier shirt or, you know, maybe a V-neck, and then that smaller size fits really nice. So kind of think of think of that when ordering rhinestones that they do tend to run a little bit on the smaller size but usually for that more decorative tea oh summer i'm sorry I, i'm sorry for you if your dog's name is uno too is it really if, if he's anything like ours <laughs> i'm sorry oh my goodness I thought Uno was the one and only. The one, not no longer one and only. <laughs> well, no, now, no, 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 no longer the one and only. You're, you're dose. Oh, he's staring at me like, what? <laughs> All right, we're good? Okay, well, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you all here next week. Bye, everybody. Bye. See ya.